Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So for almost two weeks now, you guys would know that I've been using Google's Pixel 4a. You guys should also know that I'm not tied to any ecosystem, right? So I'm also coming from using an iPhone 11 Pro. This was my main phone and still is my main phone ever since I bought it back in November. And also, Quick tip, if you are interested in getting any of these Disney or Marvel skins, I still highly suggest you guys go to skinit.com, get yourself a pair for any phone that you have. I just love the skins a lot, which is why I'm promoting it. They're, they're great. And if they can just hurry up, I wanna skin this bad boy. Okay, I digress. So the point is that I'm coming from using this phone and one thing, just like a lot of people that use iPhones that I absolutely miss is iMessage. You know, iMessage is so good on this phone. It works great when you're texting other people on the iPhone side of things. But what if I told you that you can do something basically the same on an Android phone? And the thing is, this isn't a trick. You know, Google has actually been working on this and it's still rolling out to make sure it's available on most Android phones. And you can even do it today just by using Google Messages. Google's messaging app has been my main app on my Android phones and it's no secret I've been using it for a while now and the main reason I use it aside from me just liking it as a texting app is because of the chat features and it's not available yet like internationally nor is it available for every single carrier just because of the way carriers work and whatever you know prerequisites they have for this but you can try it today to see if it works I'll show you how you can turn on these chat features and I'll show you what I mean that this is basically iMessage for Android all right but let's get into it so first thing you want to do is download the Google Messages app from the Android store and once you have it downloaded, set it as your main texting app. And let's go ahead and look at my phone. So if you notice when I'm texting somebody who doesn't have the chat features on, my text messages show as light blue, and they're also sent as SMS. But now let's go ahead and turn on the chat features. And the way you do that is in the texting app, you're gonna go to the top right, you're gonna go into the three bubbles, and then you're gonna click on the settings. The first option you get is for chat features. You're gonna go there and try to turn it on. Now here's the thing, as a T-Mobile user, I know it's available on my carrier, so you just gotta see if it works for you. If not, go to the learn more section in this app so you can learn more about what this is and what carriers or what are the prerequisites for you to use this. Uh, but if it turns on for you, then you're good to go. And you can even see what's available for you, such as being able to see a texting indicator, being able to get the red status of a text and sending it through Wi-Fi or data the way iMessage does it as well. So now that everything is on, I'm gonna go back and text my friend Eman. And one thing you're gonna notice is that my bubble goes from a light blue to a dark blue. Not only that, you're gonna get the red status and it'll tell me when my friend has read my text and I get to see him replying right away. And this right here is what I'm talking about, that it's basically iMessage for Android and it's Google working on this. And you know, that's the cool thing about Google Messages. And if more people were to adopt this app as their main texting app, then I can almost guarantee that in the future, we can have something like iMessage here on Android. And it's not even a trick. It's literally a built-in feature that is coming. And honestly, that's basically gonna be the video. I just want you guys to try this out. See if you can use Google Messages as your main default texting app and see if chat features are available. Because as time rolls on and the more people that use this, we basically get to get iMessage for Android. And I think that's actually exciting. It's more the reason why I love Android. I mean, I already love Android as it is, but just knowing I can get something like that and not miss my iPhone so much, it's a plus. It's a plus for me because I do love Android and I think for a lot of you users out there, it's gonna be great as well. But all right, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did like it, give it a like so you can help me out with this YouTube algorithm as well as leave any comments or questions you have down below. If you are new, subscribe right now so you don't miss my review of the Google Pixel 4a and any future videos I have to come because trust me, I have a lot in the pipeline. I just need to get to it. All right, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay clean, make good choices. I'll see you guys next time.